I'm moving to LA. Hey, why am I filming like this? Like, I'm, I live in LA, I'm now a professional YouTuber, and I'm still, like, filming like this. Hey guys, so this is how I'm filming my videos from now on. So, hey guys, what's up? So, it's me, Antonio. I'm sorry for the way I'm filming this, because I just don't have a camera set up yet, and because I'm balancing this on my knees. So, today we're doing an apartment tour. Okay, I really should just put this, like, down, you know? Hey. Oh, I do have a tripod. Yay. Okay, so hey, girlies and gays. Hey, girlies and gays. I have missed you guys more than you could ever even know. It's been a few months since I've even filmed anything. It's been a few months since I've even existed on the internet. Wait, I'm moving the camera. Sorry. I get indecisive. Okay, anyways, I today am so excited to film this video. This is a big deal. This is a big fat deal because I have been living this second life for the past, like, three months. Like, I... You, like, I feel like I'm like Hannah Montana right now. Like, ooh, like that's me. Okay, so I've been living here for about three months, two months, one month, one and a half months. I don't know. I want you to know that every single piece of furniture in here, every single curtain, every single little candle, every single appliance, not appliance, but everything else, I purchased, I styled, I did interior designing in this place. And I'm excited for you guys to really see what I've come up with this has been the most life-changing three months of my life. It's just been a weird transition period. One, because I moved, like, babe, duh. Also, I say babe now, so I think that's a new thing. Guys, LA's changing me, what the F? So yeah, this is me and Tofu's new home. I'm excited to show you, and for you guys to see everything I've been working on in this, the, just this, this, just, uh, just, <coughs> just this little, just, okay. And yes, I'm excited for you guys to see what I've been working on, and just, just for you guys to see my hard work. So, anyways. Hey, bitch. Let's go. Hey, guys. What's up? So, today I'm interrupting this very fun video with a little announcement. This video is sponsored by Function of Beauty. Function of Beauty. Now, I'm assuming most of us already know and love Function of Beauty, but if you don't, let me tell you a little bit about it. So, Function of Beauty is a shampoo, conditioner, and other hair care line, which caters to your hair specifically to meet your needs and goals in once. So, personally, I've been using Function of Beauty for like, probably like three years now. Like, it's just kind of like my everyday thing. These are actually brand new bottles. My other bottles were actually stolen from my suitcase, which was stolen from the airport, which was like a really unfortunate event, but we're not gonna talk about it. So I have new bottles. Yeah. Some of the main goals that I was looking for in my bottle was to help with frizziness, to help with dryness, because I just had my hair dark from it being a little bit blondish. So I wanted to like regenerate my hair and make sure that it was shiny, healthy, and smooth. And all those goals are definitely being met. Like, thank God. So I have naturally curly and really thick hair. And sometimes other shampoos leave my hair feeling like waxy, weird, heavy, gross, but not Function of Beauty. That's for dang sure. Another fun thing about Function of Beauty is you can even pick the smell of your bottles. Well, not of the bottles, but of the product inside the bottles. Ooh. So I picked the new summer scent and we love it so much. I think my favorite scent though is the pear one. Just saying. Anyways. Another one of my favorite things about Function Beauty is that it's paraben free, gluten free. Wait, it's paraben free, paraben free, non GMO, and vegan. Yeah. Function Beauty is also dermatologist tested, so you know that it won't irritate your scalp or do any funky things to your little head. So if you want to try Function Beauty and get 20% off your first order, then all you have to do is click the little link in my bio and you're all set. So you guys can click the link in my description if you want 20% off your first little set of Function Beauty. See ya! Okay, so here's my door and here's my bedroom. Yeah! So this is my bedroom. So there's a few rooms in my apartment that aren't fully done and I think this is one of them. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna change about it, but I do know that 
it's not fully done. My bed is a really big, comfy and fun bed that I got from Restoration Hardware Outlet because I don't wanna pay the full price, so I go to the outlet. I also got a lot of my furniture from Wayfair and from Ikea. I later learned that Wayfair is kinda of sketchy, so maybe don't order from there. Other than that, my room came out really well. I really love my bed. I have a cute little light above my bed for when I wanna read. Just kidding, I don't read. And then over here, I have like a lamp and a little mirror. I was gonna get that really big Ikea mirror, but it was out of stock and it just never came in stock, so I ordered this one that was way overpriced from Wayfair, actually. That's actually the only good thing I from Wayfair. Anyways. Okay, so this is my desk setup right here. So if you couldn't really tell, this setup is actually very identical to my last one. Like it works really well for me, so why would I change it? You know what I'm saying? So this is my desk setup. I really love it. It's really cute and yeah, I'm really happy with it. And then over here I have my little chair with all my squishmallows. It's my pride and joy. It's my pride and joy. Um, and then yeah, I have my pillows on my bed. There's Noob and David, of course. You're probably wondering where the actual Noob and David are right now. And let me just show you. Okay, so Noob and David are going on this wall right here, and that's really exciting, so we love them. I'm actually just realizing right now that David is nowhere to be found, but you know what? We don't really care about him, do we? Actually, we do. Wait, where's David? Wait, what the F? Wait. Huh? Wait, what? Wait, why is David small? Wait. Wait, I... Why is David small? David is mini now. Okay, well, we're gonna deal with that later, but just don't worry because Noob and David are gonna be displayed on this wall right here, which is a fun little spot for them. I think they'll enjoy it. What the F? Why is he mini? I kind of love this. Anyways, what the freak? So then right here's my balcony. I've never actually gone on there once in my life because it's kind of scary out there. But I must say that this curtain rod, this whole curtain situation, I installed completely myself. So I was installing these curtains. Imagine me like fully taking all those off. Like I took the whole rail off and then I had to install the new rail and then re-rail like the... <laughs> I don't even know, but I did it. So then after I installed it, it looked amazing. It looked great. It looked perfect. And I sat down in this very bed and then the whole thing just fell off the wall. Just, just fell off the wall. And look at what happened to my wall. Anyway, so then we go to my closet and this is my closet, a massive upgrade from my last closet because my last closet was very, very um, small. Okay, so now I'm in my bathroom and you're probably wondering, wait, Antonio Garza on YouTube, the influencer, the actual LA baddie, this looks a little bit familiar. And let me tell you why this looks familiar. I actually stayed in this apartment as an Airbnb last year. It used to be rented as an Airbnb, but now it's my apartment. That's how I knew I actually wanted to move in here is because I knew I loved staying here, so I knew I would love living here. This is my bathroom now. Okay, so here's like the main area of my apartment. This is my little dining room area right here. And I love this table. I got it from the Restoration Hardware Outlet as well. And I got the chairs from like some website and they came from like China. But let me just say, they're the best chairs I've ever gotten in my whole life. They were so cheap also. Anyways, so we love that. Okay, so there's my dining room as we know. And then here is my little kitchen. And we love this kitchen. It's, it's great, it's fit for a chef. The only thing I cook in this kitchen is actually just Annie's mac and cheese and then pre-made salads from Trader Joe's, that's all I eat. And you know what, that's kind of a sleigh, so I don't really know, what, like there's no problem there. Also, every time I buy produce, it goes bad. Like this salad, can you shut up? This salad is going bad, I think, but you know what, I'm still gonna eat it. My new personality trait is eating moldy food because I don't feel like going to the grocery store. Anyways, let's pretend I didn't say that. The only thing I actually care about that's in this kitchen are these. <gasps> these are my pride and joy. Like. Ha ha ha!
Anyway, so I have them stored up here on display, of course, because, well, they're my whole life in pride, so anyways. Okay, so moving on from the kitchen, we have the living room. TV it's really big and I don't really use it every time I've tried watching TV on it I get a text from my neighbors saying that I'm too loud I get lots of noise complaints that's a new thing about apartment life that I'm not living for is I get a lot of noise complaints because everyone here just hates me I think it's because I'm the youngest person living here and I think they're all just jealous of me you're just jealous so anyways yeah, yeah. tofu's in there now so I'm a little bit confused about that you better not break that I bought that from Etsy for $45 anyways so then over here we have <laughs> Death. What was that? Anyway, so this is Wendy. She was gifted to me by one of my friends. And at first I was like, why did you get me that? I don't want it. And she's quickly become the most hot commodity in this apartment. Every time that people come over, I bring her out. And it's, it's always a conversation starter, must I say. So in here in this little hallway is my laundry room, which I'm not gonna show you because it's really dirty. And then my little like extra little closet for like coats and stuff. And then my guest bathroom, which is actually amazing because all my guests use it. And so it's like really helpful. Thanks to my mother for decorating this room actually. She freaking killed it. And yeah. Okay, so now we're in my office, which this room is the most like not finished out of all the rooms in the apartment, but it's gonna be real cute, I can assure you. I ordered like all these little like LED lamps and stuff to put on the wall behind my computer, just so that it feels like a little party up here. But right now it's just not fully done. Anyways, this room's kind of boring, so we're just gonna like move on. Okay, and then over here I have my second bathroom. This is actually Tofu's bathroom, and that's honestly the only point of this room, is just for Tofu to do his little business. And I have this really amazing litter box that takes itself out, and I, just love it. It's kind of like, it kind of saved my life because, um... So yeah, this bathroom's really cute. It has a little shower, it has a little sink. It's just a bathroom, anyways. Okay, so the last room in the house is my loft. This room is very much an homage to like my house in Texas. I decided to stick with like the same color theme. So it's like blues, grays, like very much that vibe because that was like, that was the color scheme of my house in Texas. It's just so cozy up here. And of course, you know, the elephant in the room is the little piano, or should I say big fat piano. If you didn't already know, I do play piano and I get quite the kick out of that thing. And this is a little ledge that overlooks the rest of the apartment. And the funny thing about this ledge is that Tofu actually loves to go across it and run on it. And one time he actually fell off of it. And that was really quirky, but anyways. It wasn't that quirky, but it definitely was a moment. So I'm doing my outro in bed because I'm just, I'm just... I'm just not wanting to get out of bed and that's okay. You know, we all deserve to do what we want to do. Also free Brittany. Okay, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, this apartment tour. When I envisioned doing an apartment tour, I was like, oh, it's gonna be so high quality. You don't even know. And then we came up with this. So I don't know if that's really, you know. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. I love you guys so much. And thank you for supporting me again. I wanna be serious. Let's be serious. Serious moment time. Thank you guys for everything. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be living here. And I was thinking about that last night and I was almost crying. Cause I was like, what is my life? I don't know what's going on with my life, but I'm really happy with how I'm doing right now. I'm so happy for the first time in so long. It's actually crazy. So I just wanna remind you guys to do what makes you happy, surround yourself with people who make you happy and to only eat bungus on the weekends. So make sure to remember that one. I love you guys so much. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry if this video was a little bit weird, boring, and just not like my regular videos because it's just not like my regular videos. But I love you guys so much nonetheless. Whoopsie, doopsie, you're not my poopsie.